started the de-icing of my R6 and that basically just means tearing everything apart and uh, leaving, leaving what's there so you know it's amazing how much junk an internal combustion engine requires to run I mean you got the the oil the gasoline the coolant and and that's just to to make it run but to keep it in a in an optimal state you require a radiator uh, a fuel pump all these things in order to support those fluids flowing through and that's not even to talk about the electrical and I'm just talking about the the mechanical requirements to get all that stuff around I mean the electrical is a whole nother beast and it's quite amazing because when you switch it over to an electric motorcycle the only components you need essentially are batteries and the motor and that's it the motor is essentially maintenance free the batteries you have to recharge of course but there's no moving parts now to support those you of course need a charge controller to charge the batteries properly you need a power controller for it's uh, essentially for the throttle how much power to give the motor and that's really it and of course you can get a lot more complicated than that but you really just need something to control the power to the battery from the batteries to the motor and something con to control the power to the batteries when you're recharging it and it's it's stupid simple and that's what i like and so that's what we're going to do with our r6 so let's go ahead and do the tear down or the de-icing as they, we like to call it so this is the current state of my R6. It has the fairings off, as you can see. Just took a, a power drill there and removed all the screws that held the fairings on place. Pretty easy to do, nothing, nothing too major there. But now that the fairings are off, I can uh, take a look at the engine and uh, start actually ripping the engine out. This is this is a uh, little bit of a task here. I actually have to drain the oil before doing that, drain the gas tank, and um, the electrical has been pulled. Uh, so to remove this engine, there's a couple engine bolts, uh, engine uh, bolts for the engine mount. Um, but before that, I have to obviously disconnect it from a few of the, the other components. So with the cracked cylinder that the R6 has, the, the problem was that crack was allowing the coolant to come into the, the chambers and so very, very slowly the coolant on the, in the reservoir was going down and down and down. So that was one of the symptoms that we, we discovered that that was the cause of, of that and I'm still not 100% sure that it's a crack cylinder, but after I take out the engine and everything, we'll, we'll be able to determine that 100%. Very, very old bike, 2000. R6 here um, has about, I want to say close to 30,000 miles, I don't remember. The uh, chain and sprocket are actually pretty new, so I'm going to retain those for the, for, the new, for the new build. And besides the engine and radiator, muffler, all, exhaust manifold, all that fun stuff, I am actually going to replace all those pieces but everything else is going to, to stay. Most of the electrical equipment will probably stay. It's been a, put a lot of miles on this motorcycle. It has a lot of memories. This was my first bike. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, revive it. Put some, put some TLC into it and really clean it up. So before I get, begin work on this, uh, we're gonna put it up on this bike stand. It's really hard to do any maintenance on your bike without having a, a bike stand from simple maintenance like chain maintenance because you need to spin that back tire and get the lube on it, clean it up and everything like that. Very hard to spin a tire when it's not off the ground. So uh, let's get these up on the jack.
Alright, so we approximate this. Be about there. Come over here because the bike's actually going to lean this way. So a little bit over there. And I like to and get it right under there. So it looks good there. It's right over there. And just push down. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. So that's basically pretty good there. Okay, perfect. So that's right on the corner there. Snug there. And snug there. I'm actually going to straighten this wheel out. There you go. Now it's ready to be worked on.